The goal of this presentation is to introduce you to the bond yield analysis. Bonds are debt instruments used by corporation to raise cap. Yield simply refers to the percentage of return received from the investment. Bond yield means the percentage of returns received from investing in a bond. Bond investors and management are interested in determining the yield. Investors are interested in the yield to determine the rate of return and the management is interested in the cost of financing. There are three types of yield that bondholders are interested in are number one, current yield, number two, yield to maturity, number three, yield to call. Yield to maturity refers to the percentage of returns received from the bonds, assuming that the bond is held until it matures. It is a measure of the rate of return to the investors and cost to the company. Let's assume you have invested $1,000 par value bond that pays 10% annually. Bond matures in 10 years and the current value of the bond is 1095 What is the bond's yield to maturity? The first step is to draw the timeline for the problem, then post the cash flows for the bond into the timeline. The time period is 10 years, present value is 1095 Interest rate on the bond is 10%, so annual coupon amount is computed by multiplying par value by the interest rate of 10%, which comes out to $100 per year. Therefore, a par value of $1,000 future value can be posted on the timeline that the investor will receive at the end of 10 years. The yield to maturity is calculated by equating the cash outflows for the investor at the period zero to the periodic cash flows and the par value at the end of the maturity date. The interest rate that makes these two cash flows equal is the yield to maturity. Assuming that interest on the bond is paid annually, let's compute the yield to maturity for the bond using a financial calculator. Let's use the time value of money function of the financial calculator and enter the data in the following order. 10N 1095 plus and minus PV 100 PMT 1000 FV and the compute key and the I slash Y key for TI are just I key for the IHP. The interest is 0 0.08549. If you invest $1,000 in a 10% corporate bond and held the bond until it matures, the rate of return to the investor is 8.549%. Thank you.